Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. For today's lunch I'm going to be cooking garlic chicken and chips. So let's begin. Okay, so let's turn this stove on. I'll turn that up to number eight and I'll just add a drop, about a tablespoon of olive oil. As I'm frying chicken I don't want it to be splashing anywhere. So I'll try adding just one tablespoon instead of the three that I normally add. I've got my chicken pieces here, they're already cut. That's a weird one. It looks like a lamb chop. Shame on the butcher who cut these pieces. Never seen chicken be cut this way. Look at that. Are you sure it's chicken? Hmm. So we'll wait for this to heat up. And I've got my chips here, they're already peeled and cut, which I'll be frying later. I've got some garlic cloves here, I'm going to be doing them whole today. And I'm going to add some red peppers that I had left over in the fridge. I had to add them because they've been there three days and they're starting to go a bit soft. So I'll add them up to that as well. So we'll wait for that to heat up. Okay, once the oil is slightly hot, I don't want it to be boiling hot. Once you can move it about, spread it about in the pan, it's fine. So I'll add the chicken pieces. And I just want to brown them all off nicely. Well, basically brown them and make sure they're cooked inside. Easy, simple recipe today, using just four ingredients, but very tasty indeed. I'm not going to add salt yet, I'll add it later on at the, towards the end. So let's wait for all these to brown off. Okay, so let, let's turn these over. I will wait for the other side to brown up. Okay, so this looks nice and brown, nicely done. I'm just going to check the inside is cooked properly, so I'll, get, I'll grab the thickest bit. I'll just give it a snip. Yep, nicely cooked inside. Always make sure that your chicken is cooked inside. You don't want to happen to you what happened to me three times. Once in Spain and twice in England, all with chicken and wait while I talk I'll get these out. All with chicken and all from the same restaurant, fast food restaurant. You know the one with the M as the logo. The last time was here in Spain on the Costa. About four in the morning, I was getting every five minutes, I was getting shocks, electric shocks on my body. Really painful. Every five minutes, exactly. I let this cool down a little bit. And the doctor, I had to call the emergency doctor out. I had a private health insurance at that time. And the doctor was even more scared than I was because he couldn't find a pulse on me. So they took me in an ambulance to the hospital, which I I ended up there three, three days in the hospital. And well, that's it basically. It was all because of eating, eating chicken nuggets that were raw inside. So I think three times I've learned my lesson. So I always make sure that chicken and pork, I cook it nicely inside. Okay, let's stop waffling and we'll cook these peppers and the garlic and brown everything nicely off. And I'm going to turn the 
wait a minute. Wait. Is that it? Stop wobbling. I'm gonna turn this on for the chips. Okay, so this is done. Obviously, if you're cooking this at home, you can start off by doing the chips, you know. That way it'll be quicker. But because I'm recording this, I find it a bit hard to concentrate on too many things. Must be the age thing. Okay, that's done. What I'll do is, um, I'll swap that over, because that's bigger. Turn that higher, and this one I'll tear it down to low. And I'll add the chicken in there, and any juice. And what I'll do is add some salt. And we'll move it about. And obviously if the chips were ready, this would be ready to serve now. But because they're not, I'll just leave it here on low heat. Until the chips are ready. Let's have a few chips here. And once they start bubbling, I'll know the oil is hot to add the rest. Well, that was quite quick, so let's add the chips. And we'll fry them off nicely. Right, so these chips are ready, nicely browned. So let me turn everything off. That's better. So what I'll do is just um, put the chips in here. By the way, what do you call them? Chips or fries? Being British, we call them chips. I know Americans call them fries. What about Canada? I have a few followers from Canada. I'm curious to know. Leave me a comment and tell me. Right, so the chips are out of the pan. So now I'm going to put some salt over them. Move them about a bit. Wee. And then I'll add the chicken all over them, and the peppers and garlic. And there you go, today's delicious lunch. Garlic chicken, chips, and red peppers. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.